Hi, Renee Calhoun from The Gluten Guides. I wanted to share with you all my family story of celiac disease. And I say my family because it has affected our entire family, not just physically, but also emotionally. My daughter was two years old when she went to her two year well check. And somehow between her 18 month visit and her two years, she did not grow at all. She did not grow in height and she did not gain any weight. So I also remember talking to the doctor about her straining to use the restroom and also the color of her stool being a clay color. And I remember sitting on the floor at the pediatrician's office and the doctor kind of looked inquisitively and said, you know, I think she has celiac disease. And my husband and I looked at each other and we're like, okay, that makes sense. It does run in our family. So we took her to get blood work and it came back, you know, in a few days and I was sitting in the bed. I had just woken up to get to work and it was like 7.30 before that office even opened and I saw the doctor's office calling. I'm like, here we go, here it is. So the blood work was positive for celiac disease um, and she referred us to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia CHOP Celiac Center. Um, and, you know, we were just going with the motions. Like the doctor said, she's sick. We gotta get her to the next appointment. We'll figure it out. We'll go gluten-free. We thought we knew what it was, what it entailed. Um, we didn't quite know all the things that it meant. Um, certainly not, and we're still learning. So I remember calling the celiac center and the receptionist was so sweet. And she's like, oh, why are you coming? What's the diagnosis? And I had a look in the electronic health record and it said failure to thrive. And that's when I kind of, it hit me. And I was like, failure to thrive? Like that means failure to mom. Like I didn't feed her enough. I didn't pay attention enough. I didn't do enough. I'm not enough. Um, so I had lost it a little bit. Um, and I remember being a bundle of nerves when we went to the initial appointment at the celiac center. And thankfully Dr. Verma was in charge and she really made us feel comfortable. She kind of was like, I got this. Like, it's gonna be okay. It's not anything to do with you guys as parents and not anything to do with, it's just genetic and we're gonna figure it out. Like she really made me feel like my daughter was in safe hands. Um, and so about two weeks later, she got an upper endoscopy, which confirmed celiac diagnosis and she's been gluten-free since. We've been about five years gluten-free. Since that time, other folks in our family have been diagnosed with celiac disease, non-celiac gluten sensitivity. I myself um, have Hashimoto's and ankylosing spondylitis, which are both autoimmune conditions that run on the same genetic line as celiac. So welcome to the gluten guides. And I hope that I get to hear your story.